And I know I look a complete mess right now, but y'all don't mind me. We finna get our hair right today, okay? I love my curly hair. But lately, I've just been getting so tired of dealing with it. I'll put it in a bun. Like, you just don't feel like... So, when I get to that point, I just know it's time to shape my hair. And also, I want to see how long it's gone because I did get layers, so I haven't seen how it looks like with the layers and with like the little bit of a trim that I did get. And my hair is already washed and conditioned and all of that is just obviously not dry. <laughs> what I use for shampoo and conditioner, I use um, the Cantu, the shampoo and conditioner for that. And then I always do a deep treatment hair mask um, whenever I wash my hair, so I also use Cantu for that. This video is basically going to be strictly about Cantu. Um, because that's just that's one of my top brands it probably is the main top brand that I use because that's really the main thing that I use I've come to a conclusion that every product that I use to straighten my hair is can too the first thing I'm gonna do is you're gonna start with your hair freshly washed um, and you're just going to I have a detangle comb I got this from Sally's it's gonna make sure all of my hair is detangled first I'm going to put the Cantu leave-in repair cream conditioner I'm going to section my hair off when I do this and also I have my robe on because I want it to feel luxurious today and then after putting the leave-in conditioner in I'm going to just basically just make sure it's evenly distributed for the most part I taking I'm I taking uh, English I'm taking the thermal heat heat protectant by can too and I'm taking this and I'm going to spray this in my hair before I blow dry it. I used to straighten my hair a lot um, in my 8th grade and freshman year. I straightened my hair so much but I didn't really damage it, thank god, because I really straightened it like a lot. I didn't, I didn't really, not that I didn't really appreciate my hair that much and people started telling me your hair is so amazing, like you're so blessed and I'm like oh. Like, okay, because I used to think that curly hair was just stupid, like I look so dumb and like all that stuff, but now I love it and I barely ever want to straighten it, so that's good. So basically I'm taking, I have a Con Air, I have a Con Air um, blow dryer and I'm going to take it and I'm not putting it on hot, I'm putting it on warm because I don't want to fry my hair. I'm going to slip section it off. I have a brush. I never really use this unless my hair is straight just because like this just works with my hair. I use a comb too, but I mainly when my hair is straight, I'll actually use like a regular brush. Let me tell y'all something, okay? Never straighten your hair when it is wet. I don't care. I tried that before because I saw somebody do it and I was like, I'm gonna try it. Oh my gosh, never do it. Never, ever, ever do it. Um, it worked with their hair, but not mine. I don't know if y'all can see this, but you can see how straight that is. That is always straight. And I realized that um, this year actually that that might have been why this is always straight is because when I did straighten my hair while it was wet, I put it and it said and smoke went up. And I knew at that very moment, I knew I had messed up. I knew I was done. Um, a disclaimer real quick. <laughs> this may not work for everybody, but this is my routine that works for me. So yes, never try to straighten your hair while it's wet unless you just want to take that risk. Because when you see that smoke go up, let me tell you something. You're going to know you done messed up. <laughs> so this is when my hair starts to get more tangled a little bit. Oh, it's raining. <laughs>
bit. Straightening my hair doesn't really take me long at all. It takes me about an hour. That's good. Because I know some people that it takes way longer. But I think that's just because sometimes I just get lazy with it. So, mm -hmm. that makes sense. Okay, so now I'm taking my, I think this is Infinity Pro. Infinity Cur Pro? Mm -hmm. Yep, that's the word. Infinity Pro by Con Air. And now I'm like, I forget what I straightened my hair. So right now I'm going to put it at... 400 I don't know that's I don't, that sounds so this is a really nice straightener it blinks I don't know if y'all can see that yeah y'all see that it blinks and then it stops whenever it's like already heated up so I'm gonna tell y'all whenever it's heated up so y'all can see how fast it gets heated up this is about what my hair looks like when I blow it and brush it out so I'm gonna start with a small section I like the, like I'm so impatient sometimes when it comes to straightening my hair so I straighten my hair in some big sections sometimes and I know I shouldn't do that. <laughs> it's done. It heated up that quick. It's literally been less than a minute and it heated up that quick to 400 degrees. Some people use clips to um, pin their hair down while they straighten it but I just use a scrunchie to be honest. Um, now I'm taking my can't to keep protecting again because like I told you we really have to protect our hair out here okay now I'm gonna spray okay. and then I'm gonna I always brush it through to make sure it gets all or at least most of my hair now I'm taking my straightener now as y'all can see it's at 400 degrees Hopefully this isn't too hot. Cause I know there's like a burning point up here. Now we good. I used to not know how to do my hair. I used to not know what to do with it. Literally, if I can find a picture, I don't know if I'm gonna post it cause I'm like, <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Okay, but uh, when I was little, I always used to put my hair in a slick back bun that was like right here. And it wasn't even like a cute messy bun where your curls can show. It's like one of those buns where you like twist the ponytail. So you like you do this and then you wrap it. And when I tell y'all, boy, <laughs> girl did not know what she was doing with her hair. But now like I love doing my hair. My hair used to be super long and thick. I have no idea what happened. If I would never have cut it or anything like that, it would be down to my waist right now, I'm telling you. I think it was like right here, freshman year. And I cut it before the school year started and then I cut it again during Christmas break or like around that time period. And so then I was mad because I could literally put my hair in a ponytail and it looked like a bun. And I was mad. My mom told me, like, I'm going to regret it. You shouldn't do it. And, of course, I didn't listen because I was like, no, I think I'm going to like it. And I liked it when it was straight. Like, when it was straight, it was cute. But when it was curly, I looked like I had a big bobblehead. Um, but, yeah. So, I'm trying to get my hair to grow down to my waist. I would love, like, do y'all know Jasmine Brown? I know y'all know Jasmine Brown. If you don't, I'm going to have to put her... Um, YouTube channel and the link in the description because that girl is amazing let me tell y'all her hair is so amazing her hair is long and thick and curly I love it and she's so funny she's just such a good person come to find out she grew up in the little town that I grew up in as well she graduated from the same high school I would have graduated at if I wouldn't have moved and that is just so awesome like literally my town is so small like you can do anything if she came from my town and then and is out in la with all like she's big she's amazing she's awesome she's so awesome this is definitely damp right here and i can't even do my hair when it's damp like straighten it because even then it's gonna be like and that noise scarred me let me tell you So basically you're just going to apply this all over, make sure you get them ends. So since it is still a little damp, I'm going to have to go in with this because I'm not messing it up. 
How do y'all like how consistent I post? I post really consistent. Like, I, it takes a little bit of work. No, it takes a lot of work to be able to post consistently because I have to bring my laptop to school every day and edit while I have any free time. Um, and so, and then when I'm off from work, I'm editing. So I'm trying to make a video about every day that I can and that's kind of helping me be a consistent post. Like uh, my <coughs> definitely don't inhale heat protectant either. But my very first video I posted was last week and I've already had three videos out. So it hasn't even been two weeks yet and I've already posted three videos. So that just shows you how consistent I'm trying to be. I have another one coming out. Um, I'm trying to space them out because I don't want to have like four videos in, in not two weeks yet, if that makes sense. Um, I'm thinking once every week is really good, but I think I want to do like two a week because we're going places, I'm telling y'all. Not gonna tell you what's going on yet, but we going places. I'm trying to do way too much hair at once. I think I grabbed too big of a section because there's still some underneath. I'm gonna have to go a little bit smaller with these sections. So y'all, it's only been 30 minutes and this is how far I've gotten. So y'all can just like tell it really doesn't take me long to straighten my hair. I am actually thinking about getting like a silk press. If you've ever gotten a silk press, let me know how it is. Let me know if it damaged your hair at all because like that's not what I want to do. Y'all know y'all see the um, videos on Instagram, how it's all like this and then with one swipe, it's like sleek and straight and everything. So I want y'all to let me know if you ever had a silk press, let me know how it works because I do want to try it one day. As long as it doesn't fry my hair. But if I ever get a silk press, I'll videotape like what I'm doing and I'll post it for y'all. So y'all can see my very first time getting a silk press and I'll talk about um, how I like it. So we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Let me show y'all this product of what not to get. I got this from Sally's. This is not for our type of hair, let me tell you. This, I don't know what I was thinking, but it's a comb and it goes through like that. So basically what I'm thinking is, oh, I'm gonna straighten my hair and I'm gonna do this and like straighten it. This thing does not go through my hair, whether it's straight or not. And especially, it's, it's definitely not gonna go through that. So that was a waste of money. The concept was nice. I have layers now, so I don't know how this is about to play out. I don't know what it's gonna look like when I get done with this because I've never really had layers before. So I don't know how it's about to look when it's straight and hopefully it looks good or I'm gonna be upset. I like to pull up sections to make sure I didn't miss anything. And if I did, usually my hair does not, like it straightens nice, but it's usually the second day when I touch it up and then we're really good to go. I know y'all seen that video of that one girl that held her hair too long and it literally burnt off. Could not be me going somewhere. It's hot, bro. Oh. I'm gonna see who the first comment's gonna be. Let me know how often y'all straighten y'all's hair or if you're trying to get back to natural, say like you straightened your hair too much and you're trying to go, you're on your natural journey right now, let me know. I'll be happy to know. I'm going to be active in my comments and my DMs. Don't text me, don't DM me no creepy stuff because I don't answer those. I only, and if you hit on me, like if you're a guy and you say something, I don't answer them. I don't open them at all. I got a whole boyfriend. I'm not trying to disrespect them like that. But if it's like a genuine question, I'll answer all of y'all. We can be friends. Boom. Okay, it's hot. So 
So we're almost done with our last section. It hasn't even been an hour yet. It's been 45 minutes. This is not for everybody, but I really feel like I like putting the leave-in conditioner in before I blow dry it. I can too. They need to sponsor me already. Like, I post their products so much on my Instagram. I love y'all. Don't y'all know that? Y'all products are a blessing. Don't y'all know that? All right, y'all. I'm turning this mug up. It's on 4:35 now. And whenever you see smoke coming off of your hair, hopefully you put product in it because that's the product steaming up. But if not, then that's just your hair burning. That's your natural oils on your hair burning. So that's why you always need to put a heat protectant because it's gonna get that like, oh, I burned my finger. It's always gonna get that layer before anything else. And you don't want it to burn off your natural hair oils because you need those. Boom, baby. And Cantu keeps your hair smelling nice too. I keep my hair straight for about a week because my hair does get oily like when it's straight. And you can tell. And I also add oil to my hair though. So that just makes it worse. But I just, it helps keep it sleek. Well, basically what I'm doing is just going through and getting any parts that might need some touch-ups. Okay, y'all. I've never really been able to pull off a middle part, but I'm gonna try and see what happens. Oh no. The middle part is not for me. Let me show you what I usually do. We're done. But now I just take my Super Shine Hair Silk by Cantu. Literally, this comes out so quick. So let me let me warn y'all because the first time I did this, I was like thinking it was gonna be really thick, and it came out so quick. And like I had this big log in my hand, but you really only need a little bit. Boom! We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. And we're done here. So thank y'all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, um, please make sure to give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channels. Don't forget to channels and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. And thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made it to, this end, to the end of this video. Um, so yeah, don't forget if you can dream it, you can achieve it. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's get this bread. We out.